What's up, people? This is event three of our weekly challenge with the robots, and here we are rolling in with a non-best hand uh, imps tournament. Four boards against just the robots at the other table. And, uh, well, we have an interesting choice at the first uh, spot here on board one. Pass one heart to you. Make your bid. What do you do, folks? So here's my rule. And, and those of you that have taken an overcall class with me will know that I like to overcall good suits with bad hands. So if I had an eight count and most of my points were in my suit, I would let it fly at the one level for sure. Eight to 17 is our number. Um, I also don't mind overcalling bad suits if I have a good hand. So if I have a full opening hand and I have a spade suit like this, I'm going to get in there because it just might be our hand anyway. I'm not going to overcall with a bad hand and a bad suit. So here... I'm going to step aside, right? This doesn't mean you're not going to bid again. Maybe partner does something. Maybe they double. Or maybe they make a bid where you are allowed to do something, right? But here, you're going to be out of this auction. And when it gets to the two level, you certainly don't have any reason to enter any longer. Ooh, now this player actually offers up spades. I wonder what that is. It looks like natural game forcing. And this is the interesting part of playing a non-best hand tournament. We're kind of going through their auction. And now we're going to be defending three no Trump. So before before I pass, because uh, the robots like to lead very quickly, and we're not going to have a lot of time to discuss prior. Let's let's just think about what happened, right? Right. East opened one heart, and it's unfortunate that the robots play a weird type of system here, um, or at least you know not not what I would recommend for you. For us, for any normal player out there that's wondering what this should be, this should be a six card suit and a minimum like 12 to 15 points, or excuse me, no, sorry, this is two over one, could be 12 to 21, doesn't matter. But when we rebid our suit, we're showing six, right? Here, the robots play that it could be six, but it could also just be any minimum hand with five, all right? So that's about what we know about their hand. And in fact, when we click on it, we'll confirm that five plus heart still. This is five diamonds and four spades, right? So they have diamonds and spades to our left. They're kind of mirroring our shape more than uh, anything else. And East has five hearts and four clubs, apparently, by what this is saying, right? So now we kind of know it should be a little bit of a misfit between the hands. And we also should know about how many points our partner has. So left-hand opponent has about 13. Right-hand opponent open the bidding. Let's give them 12. That's 25 for them. Enough to play game, right? We have eight. That's 33. So partner has at most seven. The more points they have the way last partner has. So that's a long story short, waiting to get to the lead. They lead the ace of spades. Interesting. Uh, we love that. Um, I don't know what sort of attitude they play, but we're going to try to say we like it. Um, it was eight. Did they play any honor over there, folks? Hang on a second. Let's see what happened. Uh, they just played the seven. Interesting. So they played ace and then low. Is it possible that king, queen, ten is to my left? I mean, that seems kind of weird. Uh, did they just have the queen? Wow. Yeah, they just, they led ace low from that and gave Declare all their tricks. Um, but that doesn't mean we can't set up a trick over here, which we're going to. Uh, it doesn't, it didn't look like we were going to be getting anything in diamonds, but it's possible we could do something here. This is just a forced take. There's our jack of spades. And now we're going to try to see if there's a diamond trick, but it looks like they're just going to lead a club and the hearts are good over there. Uh, okay, there might have been a way to beat this. I kind of uh, sped through the the uh, mid part of that. Is it possible a diamond switch does anything for us? Let's take a look. There it is. Okay, so let's get to the point where it goes ace of spades. I mean, what a brutal lead, right? They just give Declare three tricks, right? So here on this auction, if you're the robot up there, you know, it's gone past a hard two diamonds. They bid all the suits, right? Just lead the ten of clubs. Right, lead the ten of clubs. Right, how bad could that be? At worst, you're just giving them nothing, and that's what's happening here. When you lead the ace of spades and then play low, you've essentially surrendered three spade tricks to declare. So that's just that's just bad, right? Uh, and and here it looks like it looks like that they, they know it's equals, right? So they know we can just hold it the one here, but now they put all the pressure on their partner uh, in this situation to get this spot right. So here we're still right, right? We're still just holding it to three. And that does look like it's the best we can do. The one thing I was wondering is if a diamond play here could do do damage, but it looks like they they have a lot of club tricks they can take also. So we did well to hold it to nine tricks. Um, but again, just super weird choice of leads. That's a lead you make against the suit contract, right? Let's say trumps or hearts, right? Heck yeah, let's get let's get void and let's trump some stuff. But here in no trump, you only have two spades. You're not 
You're not going to want to lead ace from ace, ace doubleton. So that's just a weird choice. Let's get back at it, though. Once again, right-hand opponent opening a heart. Make your bid, folks. Nada, right? Nothing you can do. Sometimes when you're in overcall position, you just may even have the best hand at the table, even though we can't guarantee that in this format. Remember, it's a non-best hand tournament. But look at this hand. You don't have a bid, right? Club shows at least five, usually six, to be fair, overcalling at the two level. Uh, double would show the other three suits. We do not have spades, so we pass. Here, we, we frequently will have something to bid when we come back. But honestly, we might usually just want to defend one. No Trump in this spot possibly as well. Uh, double here should be four clubs and four diamonds, right? When we when there are two unbid suits and you make a takeout double, you should have four cards of both of those suits. And honestly, I mean, I have reasonable defense for no Trump, and I have really good defense for hearts. Um, so let's let's sit back and enjoy this. Now, it's weird. It's weird. West... I would guess West only has two hearts, right? Um, I, I suppose they could have three, um, but it would have been weird for them not to raise directly to two hearts unless they just have a really bad hand. This is kind of like a forcing no Trump situation uh, where, you know, they're bidding a spade and then coming back to two hearts with this some sort of preference with only uh, with like a five count and three hearts. <laughs> I don't know. But they would just normally raise the two hearts anyway there unless they're really constructive with their two heart raises. Um I'm basically just denying, den, <laughs> delaying the really easy lead here. We're going to lead the ace of clubs. However, our heart lead is not out of the out of the picture, but I think Dummy only has two hearts. No, Dummy has three hearts. Look at that hand. Interesting. So here's here's why they did that. I, I glossed over it. I'm going to give you a fuller explanation because we're actually looking at it. When you have a bad three-card raise, right, and recognize partner their partner opened two hearts or one heart, right? So when you have a bad raise, you usually go through the forcing no trump, and then you prefer hearts at the lowest level. And now, partner, you're not even necessarily going to have three. In fact, you're usually going to have two in that spot always. But when your hand is this ugly, you can sell your hand like that, right? Sell it like a really bad two-card raise. Um and that's what this player was doing. They bid a spade, though, which is this the pretty much the exact same thing as the forcing no trump, right? It's forcing. It just happens to be natural, and you should bid a spade when you have four of them. And now they came back and bid two hearts, and, and there's what we're looking at. So we lead the ace of clubs. Um, we, we shouldn't return clubs right away unless we think that's a singleton in our partner's hand. Could it be a singleton? Um, I suppose so. I suppose right-hand opponent could have five hearts and four clubs, but they probably would have bid two clubs instead. Um, so we, we just don't want to set up this jack of clubs just yet, and we look like we're going to have plenty of time to take um, those club checks when we play some hearts later. The question is, what do we do instead? I'm going to lead the jack of spades. I'm going to lead through the strength and dummy. Uh, partner's 10, that's, that, that's an interesting play. <laughs> it looks like they like it. And now this is another reason why we don't necessarily cash the club. This allows partner to communicate with us for what they may or may not need. It looks like partner might need a spade. Uh, oh, so they just had all the spades over there. No big deal. And now they are going to get a rough, most likely. And uh, we could have done something in hearts, possibly, to draw Trump. Oh, wow, look at this. Uh, which would have worked out well for us because partner had singleton queen. But not knowing that, we're just going to take our tricks here. What was happening in hearts? Jack, we just have good hearts, right? Yeah, so we can draw Trump. And if they are out of hearts, I wasn't counting. The king club is good. And there it is. Yeah, so... Down to plus 100. I don't know, man. What are the robots going to do here? And could we get it more? Let's take a look. What are the? I don't think the robots are going to do anything differently than we did with our own hand. I just don't. I don't think they. They and they're not want to make these bids uh, normally. And here, looks like we did one trick better than than the uh, the down uh, one that we were supposed to get here. The big thing here, and partner is always supposed to be helping you. Unfortunately, the robots here aren't as helpful. If partner encouraged clubs, uh, you would continue to play clubs because now you know it's safe, meaning you can play the ace, you can play the king, you play the queen safely, right? Because partner has a double tin in these spots. And then you can even force partner to trump that jack of clubs off so you've given up nothing. But when partner discourages, which I don't know if that's what the robot's doing, but usually you, you that, that seems like a normal spot where they would play some attitude, but I don't know. Uh, uh, but in a realistic sense, we know to switch at that point. And 
both switches make some sense. The spade makes a little more sense for me just because I don't want to start them in the process of being able to rough diamonds, right? Especially if they have a guess to make. I'd rather they play that suit themselves. All right, so down two plus 100. We'll take that. Um, we'll hope that's good. And here we go. A real-world decision for you folks. You're in first chair, non-vulnerable, and uh, you're the dealer. Your choice. Make your bid. You best not be bidding three clubs, right? This is not a hand you preempt with. You want a really good suit if you're going to have this sort of shape and do that. And honestly, preempts usually are best with most of your points in the suit you're opening. Here we have almost all of our points outside of the suit we would consider preempting with, so we're out of this. And look what we sidestep. Left-hand opponent opens two clubs, 22 plus. Two no trump is usually a bid you should never make, but the robots do it all the time. Um, wow, whoa. So I'll tell you this, folks. I've been playing bridge for a long time. I took a long, I took a few years off, like a decade or two off in the middle. But man, I've been probably playing bridge since 1984, 1985, something like that regularly. Um, I've never used Gerber in my life. I mean, maybe one time. I think maybe one time in New York, I might have uh, had it on one weird hand, but uh, I just don't recommend playing it. I don't teach it, right? But the robots play it. And basically, it's just ace asking. Four clubs is, hey, partner. How many aces do you have? I'm trying to play slam. And this player has said, guess what, partner? I have one ace. One, diamonds would be zero or four. Hearts is one. Spades is two. And four no trump would be three aces. So they're on their way to slam, it looks like. And there they go. Six no trump. But we're on lead against this. What should we do? Make your make your choice, folks. What would you do in this situation? That's weird. Uh, I'm going to be as passive as I possibly can. I'm going to lead a diamond, which means I'm not going to lead away from any of my honor cards. I find this to be very safe because what do I want to avoid doing? I want to avoid giving up tricks by leading away from honors. As it turns out, if I could see the dummy, a heart would be very safe as well. Um, club could be a disaster if Declare has ace jack. And a spade could just, well, spade you're just never considering in this spot. You shouldn't be, right? So here, passively, looks like it's going to work out not too bad for us. They're playing the diamonds from the top. Wow, they're just giving us a spade here. Very weird. Uh, now, another safe exit opportunity, folks. Heart, right? Uh, spade probably would have been safe there, too, because they're going to take their own finesse. But here, we just don't want to give them any peek of anything else in a suit. We don't want to lead away from honors. Um, and here, I think they're just going to end up taking a spade finesse and ending it. Oh, there it was. They, took, they have to take both a club and a spade finesse. It's ridiculous. My God, they had jack 10 of clubs also. We could cover the club, but look at that, folks. The cover produces the same situation. The 10 is just going to be a winner. All right, so here it has to go. Ace of spades. Partner didn't pitch a loser there. These spades are breaking 3-3. Three, three. What a brutal 6-no that is. The good thing is, the good thing is, is that they should play it the same way. I don't know if they're leading a diamond though. That's going to be the determining factor, folks. We're playing imps too, so if they don't if they don't make a slam at the other table, we just lost by a bunch, right? So, but here I would guess they would do the same. It's just weird. If we don't lead a diamond, maybe they choose to take the club finesse in a different way. I don't know, right? So if you'll know double dummy, you can always make it. But man, they have to guess both of those situations. I suppose they didn't necessarily have to give up that spade either, but uh, they did that also. So we we're, wow. Uh, let's hope that's just a chop, meaning we're we're getting uh, halved on that board. Pass, pass a spade to you. What's your bid? It is nothing so far, folks. Only a nine count. One no trump, two clubs. Should you bid again? Heck no. We're happy. Uh, ooh, three clubs. They found some way to to bid a bunch of clubs. What do we want to lead? Well, this situation is interesting. When my right-hand opponent shows spades and my left-hand opponent is raising clubs, um, I think they're probably short in uh, – well, they're certainly short in spades on this side. They may be short in a different suit over here. So the more trumps we can get off the table, um, the better we're usually going to be. Um, now, this might not matter, but here we're just drawing a couple rounds of trump and making it a little more difficult for them to trump a bunch of cards if they need to. Also, when you're looking at two spades, folks – even before the dummy comes down, you know left-hand opponent doesn't have a spade fit. So you know spades aren't breaking, right? You know partner, at, unless righty has six spades, which they really aren't going to have too frequently. They usually just rebid two spades in this situation. So here we happen to know that, you know, partner probably has some spades they can take. So the more trumps we get off, the better. And here they go. They just had really good spades. That's unfortunate. 
that always makes the drawing of Trump not as important, right? Because they didn't need to Trump more than one of these, right? Or two of these. And uh, we could have pitched either thing here. It did not matter. We're going to take the king. Partner will just smother our king with the ace. Oh, good, because they want to draw some Trump. And we're going to try to beer it up. No, they didn't let us beer it up. <laughs> no, they just had diamonds. All right, there we go. Making three. Um, let's find out what that is. Let's get a result. Wow, we got, yeah, there, there it is. We got wrecked in uh, in the six no Trump hand because they're in six no Trump down three. They misguessed the club suit and or the spade suit or both. We were leading uh, initially, right? We we were actually doing quite well, but this is what a slam does to you, especially in a really short event. Minus seventeen imps on a board is really hard to recover from. However, it looks like we lost on the last board also. So let's jump over to our true results stream and see what happened. Yeah, I don't ever remember getting, uh, you know, punished this badly in a in a uh, in a challenge. But first off, let's see what they did on six no trump. Uh, here, as as you noticed, uh, we let a diamond, and they kind of guessed their way to making. Uh, and here's what happened at their table. They also let a diamond, and what happened? King of diamonds. Uh, sorry, what did they pitch? Maybe that had something to do with it. Uh, they pitched a heart right away. We pitched a club, I believe, um, and now it went spade to the nine. Heart through, okay. Same thing we did, really, except now it, now it just went club to the queen. And what did they do to get it more tricks from here? It went club back. Spade, they hopped ace. Oh, my gosh. And then they cleared clubs before giving a spade and the rest of clubs at the end. Okay. Well, well done, Mr. Robot. Uh, what happened here? So we... we we led the ace of clubs, right? They led a diamond. Um, I think we're still supposed to make it from here, though. Ace of diamonds, okay. Uh, there goes a the diamond. So, yeah, still on path to make it. There goes your club to the king. Guessed that correctly. King of hearts. So they're still on it, still on it. And where did they derail here? Right there. <laughs> yeah. So, so at this point, they just needed to lead a low club. And then eventually it looks like they might just be able to scoop up that jack of spades somehow because they can trump low, feed another club, and now they're just end plate. All right? So it's a weird situation that they got wrong, but honestly, at our table, we made, maybe made it a little bit easier for them. Let's go back to our table. So our table, ace of clubs, and then uh, uh, it's funny. The club, we, we get to set up our club right away, but there it was, folks. And there they can just kind of roll home. Uh, in, a, in a safe way, even though they didn't make two plus tricks, they were destined to, to do well from this point here. If we lead a diamond, there it is, and it's that's a tough one. And when you see dummy and you've already led a club, it's so hard to think it's right to just lead a low diamond. And in fact, if declare spades aren't as good, you know, a club could be really good for us. It just so it just so happens we we needed to be in a rush to scoop up our diamonds. And, and then we could uh, get our tricks later. So here, unfortunate ending for us. But honestly, once board three hit and, and they're down three at their table, right, it's, it's, probably, uh, it's probably not meant for us, right? It's really hard. We would have to have an equivalent slam swing to, uh, to get at it from their side. So we're two and one this week, folks. Or sorry, sorry, excuse me, one and two. We've won one. We've lost two. We need the last one, the Just Declare tournament to go in our favor, and uh, well, I guess at least we'll be declaring all the hands here. It was the first time, I think, and we may have had this before, but I don't think so. In a four-board challenge, we defended every hand. That's pretty interesting, right? That's the way we play the non-best hand tournaments. You get a little more practice with all of your bridge skills, and we got to see Gerber on this hand also, which is pretty awesome. So thanks a lot for joining, folks. Long one today. Sorry if I feel like I, uh, I may have over-explained, but I hope you got enough out of it. And I'll see you for the finale where I hope we can tie it with the robot. Get to our, maybe we'll play a fifth board uh, tiebreaker if we do get to tie them. <laughs> All right, folks, I'll see you for it later.